I know I'm in a good mood because I want vampire teeth. Like the ones that you put in your mouth with like the molding stuff so they don't come out. I went some. And also I was outside and rainwater got into my energy drink can. And I threw it away because I'm scared. There's a chemical spill in Ohio. And it's, there's a chemical cloud and it got in the waterways. And I was like, fuck this. Hey guys, I'm kind of, I'm having like a mini, a, a mini, Ugh. I'm having like a mini mental breakdown. Only a little bit of a one. I played with some of the makeup that Chloe sent me. This lipstick. Oh my god, is it a booger? Was it? Is it just... Don't, like... Listen, the camera was basically pointed at my fucking nose. So stop. Just quit. Just don't bring it up. Anyways, I'm basically having a mental breakdown. I played with a bunch of the makeup that Chloe sent me. This eye makeup. These eyelashes. These. These. This lipstick. I'm having a very shitty day and it's either like one because of the weather, two because of hormones or three because the absolutely atrocious way my family has been treating me or like a combination of all three. My sister has not been texting me back and nor has my aunt and my brother's been doing this thing that fucking grinds my motherfucking gears. Bitch, you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off. This is how you do it. Like that one guy said, this is how we do it. It's fucking Thursday night. Texting me back things that are not about what I texted you about. Like if you don't care, just ignore me. Just ignore me. You know what I mean? I would rather be left undelivered. I would rather be left unread then deal with it. But then also at the same time, I'm pissed at my sister and my aunt for both leaving me on red. So, you know, I'm just slowly starting to realize you just can't win with me. You just really can't win with me. I spent a lot of the day in bed um, thinking I'm just gonna lay here and then maybe I'll feel better. I have a really bad headache. And I'm trying to not math the math on the headache. I'm trying to tell myself it's not the fact that there was a large chemical spill in my state. I'm fine, bitch, you're fine. Um, the, the, the saving grace with it, the thing that is making it so I don't truly, truly panic is that nobody else in my house is feeling like shit. It's just me. It's just me. If anybody else was like, I have a headache, blah, 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 yada, 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 I'd be like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. But it's just me. It's just me. So now I'm starting to think it's because I'm stressy and depressy and need to get the fuck out of bed. My therapist told me yesterday, bitch, you need to do something. You need to get out of the house. You need to take a walk. You need to go to a spa. You need to have some me time outside of your fucking house. And I was like, <laughs> sure, whatever will make it so that you don't click any extra boxes that are going to go to my psychiatrist. He told me to go on a walk yesterday because it was like super pretty. It was like 71 degrees. And now today it's like 50 and super gray and rainy. So that's fun. And I'm like fighting the urge. All I want right now is pizza. I just want pizza. But I know it's my brain being like food makes happy chemicals. And that's what we want. That's what we need. But it's not a, a healthy coping mechanism. So I'm denying myself, even though I feel like I want to cry and rip my fucking teeth out. I'm also super agitated because I want to go shopping and I can't because I'm broke. I want to go shopping and I can't because I'm broke. It makes me sad. We just got to get through the next couple days and it will be fine. Yeah, we just got to get through the next couple days and it'll be 
be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I know that this is my brain just fucking hunting and scraping and pecking for a shred of happy. That's what it wants. It wants that fucking hormone rush from food, from shopping, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's that mental illness, babe. It's Thursday night and I work this weekend and I'm waiting for that refund to hit my bank account. Um, I don't know how long that's going to take. It said two to three days from Amazon, but then I don't know how long my bank is going to take with it. And then YouTube pay is on the 21st. So, and then Epps gets paid on Wednesday. So I ju we just got to make it a few more days. I just really want that Amazon refund to go through because I know it's going to get here before anything else. I've been waiting for it to just hit me upside the head like a damn brick. Just hit me upside the head with that deposit, you know? I'm having these feelings though and I know I'm not alone because I've never had an original experience in my fucking life where I want to block everyone and disappear. I want to quit my job, throw my phone off a fucking bridge, and go no contact with my whole family. That's how I'm feeling today. And I'm trying to tell myself, Hooker, it's hormones. You're gonna be fine. But is it? Or am I just fed up with their shit? That's another thing with like being hormonal and being hormonal making me feel crazy. Um, I, I'm like, Am I finally seeing the light? Am I finally done with their shit? Is this the final fucking straw? No. No, you just need to start your fucking period so you can feel better, dummy. Very nice. I'm, I'm very nice to myself. So I went on a 20-minute rant, and I decided to delete it. Um... Because somebody left a comment on one of my videos and was like, I love your intro music, even though it's from the YouTube library. And I basically was like, anytime I use music that's not from the YouTube library, including music from iMovie and music that I have paid money for in Video Shop, which is the uh, editing app that I use, I have gotten a copyright claim on my video. And I talked about how crappy it is to... Um, I work on a video and upload it only to get a claim. So that means that I don't get to make any money off of it is automatically demonetized. So until I have enough followers and have enough money, I will not be risking it for the biscuit by using music that is supposed to be royalty free, but isn't. Um, I talked about how the first time I uploaded a video with that song, I was nervous because I thought it was too good to be true. I thought this music is so cute, so perfect, little Danny Elfman vibes, you know? There's no way it's, it's free use, and it is, and I like it. I genuinely love it. I have 3,000 subscribers. I'm poor as hell. I am not a musician. I can't make my own music. I can't pay somebody else to make it. I love my music. The whole, even though it's from, or whatever you said, uh, the YouTube library, I don't care. I mean, it is what it is. I have gotten so many claims on videos that I have worked my ass off on. I do this every single day. It is basically a part-time job for me because it pays part-time wages, even though I do it every single day. Um, I'm not risking it. And I like it. I like the music. I think it's cute. I think it's perfect. I really do. And um, that's was really out of pocket and backhanded and my narcissistic trait because we all have you know at least one is that I don't take criticism well and that felt like a mean uncalled for criticism when I can't do anything about it uh anyways I don't feel good so I'm going to throw in a surprise for you guys. It is a 15, 14 minute video that I filmed earlier this week. I don't like the audio on it. So I am including it in a vlog so that you guys can watch it without it being its own separate video that can bring new people in. So enjoy and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I wanna be super, super, super very, very, very clear about something before we get started. Me talking about my experience 
as a mentally ill person is not glorifying mental illness. It's not. Um, I am somebody that has been mentally ill their entire life. I don't remember a time in my life when I haven't been and I'm allowed to talk about it and I'm also allowed to make fun of myself for it. So here we go. So today I want to talk about things that I have bought during manic episodes. And I know that mania is something that is, is thrown around just like intrusive thoughts and bipolar and schizophrenia. But I am somebody that has had some fucking doozy, doozy manic episodes. I've got the two unplanned children and the HPV to prove it. The biggest manic purchase that I have ever made definitely had to be back in 2019 when I walked into an auto dealership on New Year's Eve and I bought a car. And by bought a car, I mean I cleaned out my bank account and I made a down payment on one. And uh, it was definitely one of the most piss poor decisions I've ever made in my life. Like I drove the car for two years, but eventually it ended up blowing up. And then like the guy that sold it to me ended up going to jail because he was ripping people off and stealing car parts, but it was a mess. And I made payments on that bitch all through the panini, even though I legally didn't have to. And that guy was still a jerk to me. So, I mean, it was fine, but it was not fine. It was fine, but it was not fine. And, and like, that's the danger with mania is like things work out in your favor once or twice. And all of a sudden you're like, so it's not that bad, huh? I went through this phase back in 2020 where I was making flower crowns like all the time. Like all the time I was making these giant fucking flower crowns. And one day I woke up and I had just got paid and my ass went to the Dollar Tree. And I bought, I'm not joking you, this was back, re remember, this was back when everything at the Dollar Tree was still a dollar. It wasn't a dollar twenty-five. So I head to the Dollar Tree and I bought damn near a hundred fucking dollars worth of of plastic flowers. I know, the environment loves me. That cashier, we were best friends after that. I bought a MacBook not that long ago, and I bought it, I rented, I, I rented to own it. I rented to own it during a manic episode. I felt like I was going to chew my fingers off, unless I got one. So I got one because I was manic, and guess what? It didn't help me calm down at all, and I did eventually end up returning it because it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Like, it kept overheating when I was playing Call to the Lamb, and I was like, fuck this. You know what we need to do? We need to just break into my Amazon recent purchase list and see what the fuck that bitch has to say because I'm telling you, Amazon is not- Amazon and Afterpay, not your friend when you're manic. I recently purchased a $288 uh, pair of new rocks on Afterpay during a manic episode. I regret nothing, but it was not smart. My therapist was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I was like, unfortunately, no. Uh, one time I invested in a... <laughs> okay. So we all know that I'm chronically on TikTok and I am a fucking capitalist wet dream. I, you can influence me to fucking buy anything. I bought a wood burning kit, like a complete fucking wood burning kit from Amazon because I kept seeing people on TikTok wood burning. And I was like, I want that. So I did it and I ended up only making one thing. And this is the one thing that I made. I bought a computer, like the desktop that's behind me right now, uh, while manic. I have two payments left on it, so. I also bought this $600 camera and this $800 camera while manic. I'm making payments on both of them. One time I was super manic and I got an itch up my ass to have a camcorder, like an old school handy cam, but I couldn't afford any of the ones on Amazon and I already have too many payment thingies out at one time. So I got on Walmart app to see what they have. And um, all they had was this, this little $99 Vivitar Pro 4K uh, camcorder and you know what I did I after paid it listen if you have if you are mentally ill if you are bipolar if you have BPD 
if you are like me and you have the schizoaffective disorder, say the fuck off of Afterpay. Because I'm always like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pay it down. And then after I pay it down, I won't touch it again unless I absolutely need to. I like to lie to myself a lot. I love to lie to myself a lot. But anyways, I afterpaid this from Walmart. I go and pick it up and it sucks. It's a 99 fucking dollar video camera. Okay, of course it fucking sucks. The audio on it is fucking atrocious, but I had to have it. I don't know why. And and the thing is the thing is I sat on that bitch. I sat on it. I thought about it. I thought about it. I thought about it. I, I let it. I did the stream thing. I let it. I let the stream go. I let the stream go. I thought about it. I had the thought. I acknowledged the thought. I moved past it. Yeah. And then about three days later, I had a little bit of hypomania and there we were. I had a hypomania and you can have like four different accounts open on Afterpay at one time, like with four different stores. And I had a store open, so there I was. The amount of wigs that I have bought while manic is absolutely insane. For those of you who don't know, this is your first video. Maybe you've missed the videos where I've talked about it. I have alopecia and I have to wear wigs. I don't have to, I don't have to do anything. I choose to wear wigs and I buy about one a month. Bitch, when I'm manic, I'm like cosplay wigs, cheap wigs. Can I wear a beanie and make it passable? Wigs. I was manic and then like slightly depressed. Uh, so I bought a new iPhone because I bought it, listen, I bought an iPhone on Afterpay. The moral of the story is don't fucking touch Afterpay. Don't touch Afterpay. Don't touch Afterpay, bitch. Don't. They bank on people being financially illiterate, but you know what? That's a me problem, not a you problem, so shut the hell up. But anyways, I bought like an iPhone SE on Afterpay, paid that bitch off. Paid her off early because I picked up a shit ton of extra hours at work. Paid that bitch off early. And I didn't like the way that my videos were coming out with it. So I was like Googling, 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 Googling. I get a notification from the old Walmart. Hey, guess what? iPhone 11s are now $200. What? So what do I do? I hit the Google. Does iPhone 11 have 4K front-facing cameras? They do. They do. If I wasn't on Afterpay, looking if I had an if I had an open slot, and taking my ass to Walmart to buy it. Yes, I'm a 33 year old lady. I had to stop for a second and think, am I 34 yet? I'm still a 33 year old lady. I have made really, really irresponsible decisions to like spend tons and tons and tons of money on tattoos and like body mods while manic just because I was looking to feel something other than like I was going to fucking explode from agitation. Um, and I haven't done that in a long time. I'm very proud of myself. I don't think that I've gotten tattooed in about a year. And it's because I'm so, I'm, I'm spending all my extra money. That's another thing on this channel. I don't know words. So shut up. Anyways, um, any, any money that could even remotely be extra, I spend it on Afterpay. So I don't have it to spend on tattoos. So I haven't gotten a tattoo in a long time. And I keep telling myself, I'm going to pay down my Afterpay and then I'm going to get a tattoo. And guess what? It never fucking happens. I've bought two Yeti mics while manic. There's no reason for that. You only need one. You only need one, bitch. But I wanted them both. So guess what? On two separate fucking occasions, I bought myself like $130 mics. And guess what? I really want one of those one mics that they're always using in in a uh, podcast. And I have stopped myself, prevented myself, shown self-control by not doing it. So where's my fucking cookie for not doing that? That's a joke. Please fucking understand that I'm joking. Please take the joke, take the joke, take the joke. That's you being happy. Joking and laughing. We're laughing and joking, guys. Don't take me seriously. For those of you who are wondering, 
Bitch, do you go to therapy? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. I go to therapy. I see a psychiatrist. I'm just severely mentally ill. And the only thing that I have to say about that is be nice to your kids. One of the worst things about online payment plans is that the more you use them, the more they trust you. So these bitches really trust me because I've been using them for years and I've never made a late payment on anything. And with the trust comes freedom. You get more and more and more freedom to do more and more and more things. The amount of fucking clothes and shoes that my ass has bought because Afterpay trust me to make $300 or less purchases without a down payment for two weeks. I wouldn't have clothes that fit me. I've recently lost 85 pounds. I wouldn't have clothes that fit me if I didn't get manic and buy them. To be fair though, I went to Walmart the other day to try to find some clothes and I there it was like, this is a joke. You're joking, right? This is a joke and you're joking. I swear to God, the moment I started hyping them up on TikTok, that's when they, they bit me in the ass. Anytime I publicly declare something, it bites me in the ass via them just making the shittiest clothing I've ever seen in my life. Ah, it hasn't been that bad since I was a kid. The amount of like, boots and shoes and purses and shit that I have bought while manic. We won't get into it. I mean, we might one day, but not today. I can really fuck up a makeup aisle in any sort. If it's got makeup, doesn't matter if it's the Dollar General, doesn't matter if it's CVS, doesn't matter if it's Walmart, doesn't matter if it's fucking Kroger, which where I live is a grocery store. If you have makeup and I'm manic, I will have one of everything that I possibly can't afford. I will fuck up a makeup aisle, a nail aisle, a eyelash aisle when I am manic. And also when I'm depressed, just hunting, pecking, searching, scraping for a fucking scrap of happy. In recent years, I have not done anything destructive in the sense of like alcohol or drugs or whatever, 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 gambling. In probably the last four to five years, I haven't. You should have talked to me four or five years ago and seen if my ass was at a club, uh, you know, dropping $150 on $12 drinks, blacking out when I was manning. You, you should have asked me a couple years ago about that. No, but when I tell you that being financially irresponsible and addicted to shopping can be destructive, I mean it. I may be fun. I may be quirky. But this shit gets people in trouble. This shit gets people in trouble and it ruins lives. So it's like, don't, don't look at me and be like, she's glamorizing it. She's making jokes about it. Yes, because it's my fucking experience and I can. I can.